Chapter 336, The True Strength of Both Parties All the gazes on the open ground paused on the slowly descending Nalan Yan Ran. All of their expressions were different as they did so. This fellow seems to be quite good. On top of a huge tree, Jia Xing Tian smiled as he stared at Xiao Yan. Immediately, he shook his head and said, Unfortunately, the attack this time round did not cause much damage to Nalan Yan Ran even though it appeared ferocious. The flying flock agility Do technique does indeed live up to its name. Ah! Fa Ma by the side nodded slightly. His gaze stared at the falling Nalan Yan Ran and softly laughed, the girl from the Nalan clan is not weak either. It looks like Yun Yun has really tried her best to groom that girl during these three years. Hai Badong frowned slightly. He stared at Nalan Yan Ran and his eyebrows abruptly twitched a moment later. The energy within her body is swiftly increasing. Additionally, it faintly has the sign of having broken the limit of a doshi. Tisk tisk. What a profound method of hiding her strength. Even I did not discover it. The secret technique of the Misty Cloud Sect is indeed extraordinary. Jia Xing Tian and Fa Ma smiled. Regardless of how one put it, the training that Nalan Yan Ran received as the next Misty Cloud Sect's sect leader was naturally not something that an ordinary Misty Cloud Sect disciple could compare with. Moreover, the Misty Cloud Sect also had Pil King Gu He's help. Adding all these to Nalan Yan Ran's strong foundation, it was not considered ridiculous for her to reach the Dadoshi class at this age. Looks like the fight this time around is going to be somewhat intense. That little fellow from the Xiao clan is also not someone ordinary. In addition, the huge black ruler in his hand is also a little strange. Fa Ma stared at the heavy Xian ruler in Xiao Yan's hand as he spoke. Seeing the airflow which he creates when his feet land on the ground, that ruler seems to have some weight. Have the both of you realized that after the ruler leaves his hand, not only did his speed increase, but even the eruption and density of his Dou Qi had instantly become much stronger. Jia Xing Tian was worthy of being a strong person who even Hai Badong feared. Even the slight movement when Xiao Yan landed on the ground was actually observed by him to such a detail. Yes. Hearing Jia Xing Tian words, Fa Ma nodded slightly. It appeared that he had also sensed these changes. From the looks of things now, this competition will be a hard-fought one. But what causes me to be curious is what exactly does this little fellow rely on? He is actually able to escape from the reputation of being a useless person three years ago and catch up with the progress of Nalan Yan Ran, who has received the Misty Cloud Sex training, with such swiftness. Jia Xing Tian was uncertain as he softly said. I don't know. Our Alchemist Association has never met him so we have never investigated him. Fa Ma shook his head. His gaze glanced at the open ground and suddenly said, that girl from the Nalan clan is about to use her true strength. The slowly falling Nalan Yan Ran strangely floated in the air just as she was around half a meter from the ground. She gently waved her hand and her body flipped in the air. After which, she landed on the hard green rock surface in a light and agile manner. Eyeing Nalan Yan Ran, who was actually unheard after landing on the ground, a sigh of relief involuntarily sounded throughout the square. Nalan Yan Ran's pretty eyes were serious. She eyed Xiao Yan on the opposite side whose expression was still calm. In a soft voice, she said, You have really surprised me. No matter what, I, at the very least, believe that you are no longer that useless young master of the Xiao clan from back then. Xiao Yan did not give any reply to the somewhat lamenting words of Nalan Yan Ran. He merely lifted his eyes and glanced indifferently at her. As he sensed the slowly soaring pale green-colored energy within Nalan Yan Ran, he softly mumbled in his heart, is she finally about to display her true ability? I do not want to say anything more about all that happened back then. Nalan Yan Ran slowly raised her hand. The green glow above the pale green-colored longsword became increasingly dense as her gaze stared at Xiao Yan. But the current me represents the Misty Cloud Sect. I will not hold anything back for its reputation. As Nalan Yan Ran's voice slowly fell, the robe on her body and her black hair on her head suddenly moved despite the absence of wind. 
a forceful presence gradually rose from within her body. The extent of the strength of the imposing presence caused the surrounding misty cloud sex disciples to widen their mouths in shock. Numerous soft cries involuntarily sounded, this chi, has Nalan Shiji advanced to a dadoshi. Seeing the expressions of the misty cloud sect disciples around, it appeared that even they were uncertain about Nalan Yanran's actual strength. It is really unexpected that niece Nalan has already reached the dadoshi class at such an age. She is really quite admirable. Mu Chen turned his head and said with a smile to Nalan Ji after eyeing Nalan Yanran who was emitting a powerful force. His laughter contained some envy. Although Mu Zhan was currently a nine-star doshi and appeared to be merely half a step away from a doshi, Mu Chen knew that this half a step was something that was extremely difficult to cross if one did not have sufficient luck. Nephew Mu Zhan is also not weak. Nalan Ji smiled and gave a polite response. The strength that Nalan Yanran suddenly displayed also caused him to sigh in relief. Regardless of how one put it, Nalan Yanran was ultimately a member of the Nalan clan. If she were to lose this competition today, not only would the Misty Cloud sect lose face, but the Nalan clan would also feel ashamed. Moreover, Nalan Yanran had even impulsively said that if she lost, she would become his slave when she made the agreement back then. When he thought of the eldest young lady of the Nalan clan and the future successor of the Misty Cloud sect becoming someone else's female servant, there was some indication of ugliness on Nalan Ji's old face. This girl. As he slowly released his breath, Nalan Ji eyed Xiao Yan who was calmly watching Nalan Yan Ran. He softly said, Ah, nephew Xiao, I am really sorry. This competition has far too many complications for Nalan Yan Ran. I'm afraid that we can only wrong you. In the future, I will order the Nalan clan to compensate the Xiao clan. Hearing his confident words, it appeared that he was not optimistic of Xiao Yan being able to win this competition. However, one could not blame him. Xiao Yan's current age was not even 20. Regardless of how outstanding his training talent was, the difficulty of reaching the Dadoshi class at his age was extremely great. After all, he did not have the support of a huge faction like the Misty Cloud sect behind him. Of course, this was indeed so under normal circumstances. Were it not for the Three Lines Green Spirit Pill, Xiao Yan would really only be lingering below that of a Dadoshi. Unfortunately, the situation Xiao Yan was in was not considered normal. Therefore, this thought of Nalan Ji was bound to be faced with disappointment. The blazing sun hung high in the air and the sunlight poured down from the distant sky, dispersing the faint mist that shrouded the square. It shone upon the bodies of everyone present, causing their skin to feel a little warm. The nearly 1,000 misty cloud sect disciples sat on the ground around the square, forming a semicircle. They sat on the rock surface like wooden pillars and the pouring sunlight from the sky did not cause their body to make even the slightest movement. The endurance of these people was something that Xiao Yan could not help but praise despite not having a good impression of the Misty Cloud sect. Seeing how they were able to train the talented people whom had been picked up from all over the land in such a manner, the Misty Cloud sect really did not simply rely on its empty reputation to stand above the Jiuma Empire for so many years. On the stone platform just behind the rock monument located at the middle of the square, the ten-plus white-robed old men were narrowing their old eyes as they watched the two people in the square. Occasionally, they would whisper something among themselves. First elder, the fight has only just begun yet Nalan Yanran was forced to use her true strength. On the other hand, the little fellow from the Xiao clan appears to have remained very calm. A white-robed old man turned his head and softly said beside Yun Ling. His voice carried a little worry. His mindset is indeed quite good. Yun Ling's finger gently schemed off some of the non-existent dust on his robe as he said casually, but this kind of competition isn't something where one can just rely on their mentality. The progress of Nalan Yanran during these few years is something that caused even us old fellows to feel shocked. Moreover, the sect leader appears to have passed her some of the sect's secret technique. No matter how outstanding that young fellow's talent is, at the very least, it is somewhat impossible for him to catch up with Nalan Yanran now. 
all of you need not be overly worried. Since Nalan Yanran has already displayed her true strength, this battle should likely be over soon. Once we chase away that little fellow from the Xiao clan, I will not need to worry about it any longer. Yun Lang faintly said. Hearing Yun Lang put it in this manner, that white-robed old man could not say anything more. He nodded his head, turned around and glanced at the rock platform below. Suddenly, he said, Gee yeah, is something wrong? Upon hearing the question, a white-robed old man who was sitting on the second level of the stone platform turned around. Seeing his appearance, it was surprising that Ji Ye was the one who had accompanied Nalan Yan round to the Xiao clan in order to cancel the engagement back then. His current expression was a little strange. Moreover, the source of the expression on his face seemed to be Xiao Yan in the open ground. Ever since Xiao Yan appeared in his eyes earlier, Ji Ye's expression had turned into this manner. This was because he had discovered that the young man earlier had actually faintly appeared to be somewhat similar to the mysterious black-robed person whom he had seen at the M.O. clan within Yan City back then. Impossible. That mysterious man is a Doha Wang. With Xiao Yan's age, even if he had the talent of the heavens, he cannot possibly reach that step. Ji Ye violently shook his head, wanting to throw away the ridiculous thought within his mind. However, the two faces continued to slowly merge together. At one instance, when the two faces were completely merged together, Ji Yi's entire body trembled. He exhaled his coarse breath as he recovered. He suddenly realized that his entire robe had actually been drenched in cold sweat. Are you all right? The ten plus elders of the Misty Cloud sect watched the cold sweat filled face of Ji Yi with surprise as they knit their eyebrows together and asked. It's nothing. Ji Ye swallowed a mouthful of saliva that had intruded into his dry throat. He hesitated for a moment, only to shake his head. He did not voice the thought within his heart. Even though the two faces appeared extremely similar, he still did not believe that the mysterious black-robed person was Xiao Yan. If the latter really had that kind of strength, did he need to exhaust himself and come to have a tough fight with Nalan Yan Ran? It was definitely an illusion. Seeing his manner, he is at most at the Doshi class. No matter what, he is definitely not that mysterious black-robed person. Ji Ye clenched his teeth, slowly raised his head and continued to throw his gaze into the open ground. On the open ground, Nalan Yanran's rising imposing presence from within her body slowly stopped increasing when it finally reached the Doshi class. With the wave of the long sword in her hand, a clear ring of the sword sounded above the open ground in a relaxed manner. At the tip of the sword, a green-colored sword's aura was expanding and shrinking. It was pointed at Xiao Yan from a distant away and a wild wind instantly appeared out of nowhere. Eyeing Nalan Yan ran on the opposite side as her force ceased rising, Xiao Yan pursed up his lips. He softly muttered, as expected. Around a two-star Dadoshi. Let's start preparing to go all out. Xiao Yan twisted his neck and gently exhaled. His palm held the heavy Xian ruler above the ground. Immediately, he used his strength to insert it into the ground. The green-colored Dou Qi on his body was like a flame as it abruptly surged. A long while later, the Dou Qi disappeared and a green-colored Dou Qi armor appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Dou Qi armor? This fellow is also actually a Dou Qi. Eyeing the armor which appeared to be made up of a substantial substance, waves of noises made when inhaling cold air sounded around the open ground. Chapter 337, An Intense Fight This is going to be fun now. Sensing the open ground which had suddenly become quiet, Jia Xing Tian stared at the Dou Qi armor on Xiao Yan's body which was faintly emitting a green-colored glow. His face had some shock and amazement. This armor was only in its infancy shape, but regardless of how one put it, being able to summon it out meant that that person had already entered the Dadoshi class. Reflecting on what he saw from this point, it appeared that the gap between Xiao Yan's and Nalan Yan Ran's strength was not very big. The thing that caused Jia Xing Tian to be shocked was how this little fellow of the Xiao clan, who did not have a strong backing behind him, could actually swiftly catch up to Nalan Yanran in these three short years. 
One should know that behind Nalan Yanran was this huge being known as the Misty Cloud Sect which was grooming her and providing support. This young fellow is not someone simple. Jia Xin Tian and Fa Ma exchanged glances with each other. Both of them could see this emotion within the other's eyes. Ah! On another side, Nalan Ji's face which had only just relaxed for only a short while, then once again tensed up. His eyes stared intently at the Dochi armor on Xiao Yan's body. A long while later, he finally let out a long breath. He slowly closed his eyes and the expression on his face held some bitterness. This time around, Nalan Ji truly felt a regret. He regretted not having stopped Nalan Yan Ran back then. If Nalan Yan Ran did not create the whole issue of cancelling the engagement, this young person who relied on himself as he changed into a strong Dadoshi from a useless person in three short years would become a son-in-law whom the Nalan clan would be extremely satisfied with. In the past, Nalan Ji was furious with Nalan Yan Ran's act of cancelling the engagement because he was extremely prideful. The agreement he and Xiao Yan's grandfather made was something that he felt humiliation for after she broke it off. If it were not because of this reason, who would be willing to let his own outstanding granddaughter marry a young master of the Xiao clan who was merely a useless person back then? Now, however, the young man who had revealed his sharp edges in front of Nalan Ji caused the latter to clearly see the terrifying potential contained in the former's body. The value that such a potential could bring in the future had far exceeded the limit which Nalan Ji could imagine. He clearly understood that there was no large faction like the Misty Cloud sect supporting Xiao Yan from behind. And even without such a support from behind, Xiao Yan, however, was still actually able to swiftly catch up to Nalan Yan Ran's speed within three years. This kind of training talent could only be described with one word, terrifying. Therefore, only at this moment did Nalan Ji really sense just how great a loss the Nalan clan had suffered through the impulsive action of Nalan Yan Ran back then. A Dadoshi that was not even twenty years old. Who could guarantee just what extent he would grow by after some years? A Do Wang was sufficient to support the entire Nalan clan. If Xiao Yan were to reach this class in the future, who could guarantee that the strength of the Xiao clan would not abruptly soar? It may even reach the point of threatening the three large clans. As he thought of that serious consequence, the bitterness on Nalan Ji's face grew even denser. A long while later, he opened his eyes and once again let out a sigh. Suddenly, he appeared much older. Ah, Xiaoling, you have such a good grandson. By the side, Mu Chen and a few other heads of different fractions eyed the bitter expression of Nalan Ji. Although they were wise enough not to prod the other person's wound, they could not help but gloat within their hearts. Due to Nalan Yan Ran, the relationship between the Nalan clan and the Misty Cloud sect was increasingly close. This caused many groups within the capital to become a little afraid. The Nalan clan losing out was something that many were happy to see. On the stone platform beside the open ground, the ten-plus white-robed old men were shocked until they were at a loss as they eyed the Dochi armor which Xiao Yan had suddenly summoned. A long while later, they gradually recovered. They exchanged glances with one another while serious expressions appeared on their faces for the first time. Looking at the current situation, it appeared that they had greatly underestimated this person who was once the trash of the Xiao clan. First elder, this, a white-robed old man frowned slightly as he whispered. Let's wait and see. There was not much change on Yun Leng's face. He gently waved his hand and suppressed the worry of the other few elders. His gaze rested on the skinny back of the young man in the square and slowly spoke, although his strength has somewhat exceeded my expectations there is still some gap between him and Nalan Yan Ran. Moreover, the Do techniques that Nalan Yan Ran practices are all the advanced ones in our Misty Cloud sect. On this point, I doubt that nameless little fellow can compare with her. Let's watch quietly. Yun Leng's gaze paused on the open ground. His face was calm, but the hands which were inserted within his sleeves were tightly clenched. He appeared to have felt some sort of uneasiness. On the open ground, Nalan Yan Ran's gaze swept over Xiao Yan's body. The indifferentness on her pretty face finally had difficulty hiding her shock this time around. 
Although she did not underestimate Xiao Yan's training talent, she had never thought that Xiao Yan could actually directly leap to a Dadoshi class from being someone who was not even a Doshi within three years. This kind of training speed was something that Nalan Yan Ran, who had the help of the Misty Cloud Sect and Pilking Guhi, could not help but feel stunned about. Nalan Yan Ran slowly inhaled a mouthful of somewhat icy cold air. The indifference on her face had gradually disappeared. Her seriousness increased. It appeared that the current her had truly begun to take Xiao Yan seriously. Nalan Yan Ran tightly held her long sword. This time around, she did not say any unnecessary words. This young man in front of her whom she had once regarded as a useless being, was worthy of using all of her effort in order to ensure her victory in this fight. The long sword shook and a clear ringing of the sword sounded. Following the sword ringing, the pale green-colored Do Chi on Nalan Yan Ran's body abruptly soared. An instant later, the Do Chi disappeared and a delicate pale green Do Chi armor covered her exquisite pretty body. The Do Chi armor which Nalan Yan Ran had summoned was undoubtedly much slimmer and more elegant compared to Xiao Yan's one. Her body which curved at the right places was wrapped by that tight body armor. It emitted the beauty of a heroic spirit, causing her, who was originally the focal point of the place, to attract the attention of everyone's eyes. Although the color of both of their Do Chi armor was similar, Nalan Yan Ran's Do Chi armor was clearly much more refined if one were to compare their outer appearances. On the other hand, Xiao Yan's one appeared a little crude. From this, one could see that despite the two of them being Do Chi, there was still a gap between their strength. The powerful Do Chi surged forward within Nalan Yan Ran's Chi paths like a flowing river. She gently lifted her pretty eyes and the tip of her feet abruptly pressed gently on the ground. Her body turned into a light ray, and she took the initiative to begin her attack on Xiao Yan as everyone watched. The distance between the two of them was but 10 meters. For Nalan Yan Ran's speed, this was something that could be covered in a few seconds. Her body flashed and reappeared, placing Xiao Yan within her attacking range. She waved her sword, making it appear much like a venomous snake which had come out of its hole as it carried a sharp rushing wind sword glow and trickily pierced at Xiao Yan's chest in a vicious manner. Xiao Yan indifferently watched the tip of the sword which repeatedly became enlarged within his pupils. His palm completely left the hilt of the heavy Xian ruler. Due to him leaving the heavy Xian ruler, the currently rising Do Qi in his body roared as they surged within his veins. A feeling of being filled with energy lingered within Xiao Yan's body. When the pale green-colored substance, which was like a small rotating wind that covered the sword, was about to reach a spot half a foot from Xiao Yan's chest, he finally made a move. He violently kicked on the heavy Xian ruler which was inserted in front of him. His body moved half a meter to the left and agilely dodged Nalan Yan Ran's aggressive attack. Thousand Wind Blade Nalan Yan Ran was not surprised that Xiao Yan was able to dodge her attack. Her hand swiftly turned and five spiraling sword blades which were agglomerated from wind-type Do Chi instantly formed on the tip of her finger. With a soft cry, five sharp sword blades left her finger. They twined around each other turning into tiny green lines as they charged at Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner, while carrying a sharp piercing wind sound. Five sharp rotating sword blades broke through the obstruction of the air and almost instantly appeared in front of Xiao Yan. The green-colored ray of light abruptly trembled and the five rotating sword blades immediately spread out from the middle. After which, they targeted five vital points on Xiao Yan's body and shot out explosively. The ferocious wind that they carried as they flew past caused Xiao Yan to narrow his eyes. What a fast speed! The speed at which the rotating sword blades attacked was fast enough to cause Xiao Yan to feel shocked. From such a close distance, it was clearly impossible to completely dodge all of them. Therefore, in the little time that remained, three green-colored flames were swiftly flicked out from the tip of Xiao Yan's finger. These tiny flames were shot out in different directions and perfectly blocked three rotating sword blades. They also managed to incinerate them as desired. Although Xiao Yan had blocked three of the rotating sword blades, there were still two more of them which ruthlessly shot toward the left and right arm of Xiao Yan. 
the sword blade struck the Dochi armor and a wave of sparks and a ear-piercing chafing sound was emitted when the two came into contact. Due to the exhaustion of energy, the sword blade slowly disappeared. At the same time, two significantly big holes appeared on Xiao Yan's Dou Qi armor. Although these holes were gradually being repaired by Dou Qi, one could still vaguely see some traces of blood from them. It appeared that this attack caused Xiao Yan to receive some external injuries. Of course, from Xiao Yan's point of view, such external wounds would naturally not affect his combat ability. Therefore, his left foot abruptly stomped heavily on the ground after withstanding this round of sharp attack unleashed by his opponent. As an explosive sound was created, his body turned into a black-colored shadow. He appeared to be nestled on the ground as he closed the gap between him and Nalan Yanran in a flash. His palms supported himself on the ground while his feet carried a ferocious force which violently whirled and smashed toward Nalan Yanran's neck. From the whirling sound emitted from the air, it appeared that the force which Xiao Yan used was merciless. Sensing Xiao Yan, who had actually appeared this close to her with such swiftness, Nalan Yan Ran knit her eyebrows together. She immediately twisted her waist and her body became like a catkin within a violent storm. Although she had only pulled back a short distance of half a foot, she had coincidentally escaped Xiao Yan's attacking range. Without any hesitation, Nalan Yan Ran waved her long sword after she had dodged the other party's attack. She turned into a green shadow as she cut at Xiao Yan's legs in a lightning-like manner. Sensing the thick cold sword aura approaching, Xiao Yan's right hand abruptly opened while facing his front. A ferocious shapeless force violently surged and heavily struck Nalan Yan Ran's chest. The sudden attacking force caused Nalan Yan Ran, who could not react in time, to take a couple of steps back. As she had the protection of the Dochi armor, however, Xiao Yan's attack this time around did not have much impact other than breaking the opponent's attack. Xiao Yan's heart also understood this point very clearly. Originally, he did not expect that this attack would cause much harm toward Nalan Yan Ran. Therefore, when she was retreating, his palm violently struck the ground. The ferocious force caused a few crack lines to spread on the hard, green rock surface. His body leapt up and moved closer to Nalan Yan Ran like a ghost. Immediately, he unleashed his fiercest attack since he had arrived, much like a volcano erupting. Xiao Yan specialized in close combat. Therefore, his hands, arms, elbows, legs, head, and every part of his body had at this very moment, were turned into terrifying weapons, that could kill. His arms and elbows danced and a frightening energy caused explosions to repeatedly appear in the surrounding empty air. Each time the force missed, it would leave quite a deep pit scar on the green rock surface. When faced with this incomparably aggressive attacks of Xiao Yan, Nalan Yan Ran did not show any sign of weakness. Although the opponent was just beside her, she managed to rely on the uniqueness of her agility Dou technique to repeatedly dodge Xiao Yan's attack. She waved her long sword, emitting a stern sword aura as the sword glinted, thus leaving behind countless of cut marks on the ground. As the fight between the two gradually entered an intense phase, powerful Dou Qi appeared to be surging within the two bodies and was released at a gushing speed. When the Dou Qi collided, powerful energy explosions repeatedly sounded on the open ground. Green glows flashed in the open ground. Hot Dou Qi and sharp sword blades repeatedly shot out from the cover of the green glow. Two shadows continuously moved swiftly within the square. Clear ringing of the sword and the sound of metal clashing was emitting unceasingly from the points where the two meet. The strength of their attacks had also become increasingly wild following the increase in the intensity of the fight. Progressively, it left everyone present speechless. Eyeing the repeatedly flashing and moving blurry figures in the square the expressions of the surrounding misty cloud sect disciples were all a little dull. In the battle earlier which had come to a stalemate, they could clearly sense that Nalan Yan Ran had at the very least displayed three Xian class Dou techniques. However, these Dou techniques which were sufficient enough to help her easily defeat some strong people who were stronger than her were completely defused by Xiao Yan, whose strength was clearly a little weaker than her own. 
Only at this moment did these disciples of the Misty Cloud sect finally understand just what a silly rumor it was when their comrades described Xiao Yan of the Xiao clan as being a useless person and how he overestimated his own ability. Being able to fight with the most outstanding person of the younger generation of the Misty Cloud sect for so long without being defeated, proved that this delicate and handsome young man in front of them was far from an ordinary person. Chapter 338, Wind's Peak dazzling sunset. On the huge green rock square, powerful dochi and sharp wind blades repeatedly shot out, leaving behind numerous clear and visible deep scars on the surrounding hard surfaces. Everyone held their breath at this moment. Their gazes followed the two human figures which appeared and disappeared as they moved in flashes. The increasingly intense and heated battle caused many people to have their hearts jump to their throat while they watched the explosive battle of both parties. Their original impression of Xiao Yan was someone who should have been defeated upon first contact, but he had unexpectedly not shown any signs of being at a disadvantage in the fight. Instead, with those extremely ferocious close-ranged attacks of his, he actually faintly looked like he was suppressing Nalan Yanran in terms of attacks. This really stunned the Misty Cloud sect's disciples who had originally thought that victory was easily within their grasp. Of course, this was not only so for the ordinary Misty Cloud Sex disciple. After Xiao Yan had quietly used the Heavenly Flame to completely block all of the Xian class Dou techniques which Nalan Yanran had repeatedly displayed, the Misty Cloud Sex elders on the stone platform finally became to display uneasy expressions. The few Dou techniques which Nalan Yanran had displayed basically belonged to the advanced and difficult to learn type. Moreover, their power was also quite great. With Nalan Yanran's strength, even if her opponent was a strong person two or three stars above her, it would not be possible for him to easily block these few Dou technique which she displayed. However, the reality that had appeared in front of them clearly told Yun Leng and the others that those Dou techniques which had great power were actually blocked by Xiao Yan, whose strength was slightly weaker than Nalan Yanran, without suffering any injuries. First Elder that Xiao Yan appears to be a little strange. Each time Nalan Yanran's Dou technique is about to reach his body, a strong and strange energy appears. It is this strange energy that causes Nalan Yanran's Dou techniques to be unable to obtain any actual results. After staring at the open ground intently with his eyes, a white-robed old man could not resist turning his head and softly informing Yun Lang with a serious face. Hearing the soft voice of the white-robed old man, the other few elders, including Yun Lang nodded slightly. With their strength, they could naturally sense the strange energy which contained some heat. However, Xiao Yan displayed his heavenly flame while moving at high speed and his technique was done skillfully and with great familiarity. Therefore, even though Yun Lang and the others could only sense something, but were unable to know just what exactly Xiao Yan used. Don't panic. Allow me to carefully sense it. Yun Leng's face was gloomy as he waved his hands. He slowly shut his eyes and immediately used the Dou Qi in his body to connect with the energy in the outside world which possessed the same affinity. He then began to watch Xiao Yan's every action from all directions. Hearing these words from Yun Leng, the other few elders exchanged glances and maintained silence. They continued to throw their gazes into the increasingly intense battle. Not long after these elders became quiet, two rushing wind sounds suddenly sounded in the air. Immediately, two human figures appeared on the top of a huge tree located on the surroundings of the open ground. Their gazes swept on the inextricably locked battle below and could not help but feel a little surprised. After the two human figures appeared, Jia Xing Tian and the rest who were to the tip of large trees threw their gazes over. When their gazes swept onto the faintly handsome-looking middle-aged man who was wearing a pale green robe, they were momentarily startled. Immediately, they laughed and greeted him. An endless stream of people instantly flocked over. From this it could be seen just what kind of status and position this person held in the Jiama Empire. Even people of Jia Xing Tian's and Fa Ma's level were this polite to him. The person who came was Pil King Guhi of the Jiama Empire with Lu Ling followed close behind him. The Lu Ling at this moment was no longer as arrogant as he was in the capital back then. 
He quietly stood behind Gu He and smiled as he greeted Nalan Ji and those people of the older generation. Looking at this manner of his, it appeared that he had changed quite a bit because of his failure at the Alchemist Grand Meeting. KK, it is really unexpected that both old Jia and old Fa are here. But the sect leader isn't present today, so there is no one to greet you. I'm sorry. Gu He cupped his hands toward the two of them and said courteously with a smile. He similarly did not dare slight these two extremely strong people who possessed quite a great reputation in the Jiama Empire. This is... Gu He's sweeping gaze suddenly paused on Hai Badong's body. Hesitation flashed across Gu He's face. With his outstanding spiritual perception ability, he could naturally sense the partially hidden surging force of the latter. Hai Badong. Hai Badong cupped his hands towards Gu He. The usual indifferent face he used on strangers had unprecedentedly revealed a somewhat stiff smile. Although he was much greater in seniority compared to Gu He, only those people in this world who had a big fist and great ability would truly receive equal or respectful treatment from others. He might be a Doha Wang, but Gu He, as the most outstanding alchemist grandmaster in the Jiama Empire, was someone who even a Doha Wang had to treat equally when they met. This was because everyone knew just what kind of enormous gathering power a Tier 6 alchemist possessed. Ice Emperor Hai Badong Hearing Hai Badong mentioning his own name, Gu He was startled and his expression was immediately a little lost. A long while later, his expression recovered to normal and with a smile, he politely spoke to Hai Badong, back then when Gu He was still training, I heard so much about old Ha's name. Seeing you today, your prestige isn't any less than what it was back then. Hai Badong smiled. Since the other party treated him in this manner, he naturally could not be any less polite. After the two of them courteously exchanged some words, Gu He finally turned his gaze towards the battleground. Upon seeing the extremely close and intense fight, his eyebrows immediately twitched. He asked in astonishment, that fellow is Xiao Yan of the Xiao clan. KK, that's right, but he isn't a useless person. A bitter laughter sounded beside Gu He. When the latter glanced over, he realized that it was Nalan Ji who had replied. Gu He nodded his head. His gaze returned to Xiao Yan who had turned into a black shadow on the battleground. It was naturally a lie if he said he was not surprised. He clearly understood that the latter was a useless person who had not even reached the Doja class three years ago. Three years later, however, he had actually soared to a level which was sufficient to contend with Nalan Yan Ran. It should be known that Yun Yun had gotten him to refine an unknown number of medicinal pills to raise Nalan Yan Ran's strength. Despite the Misty Cloud sect and his own support, however, this Xiao Yan actually managed to follow closely behind with just three years. Just what kind of support from an enormous faction and terrifying training talent did he need to do this? A seriousness was added to the originally indifferent and smiling face. He frowned slightly and his spiritual strength broke out of his body from his forehead. In a lightning-like manner, it immediately moved and hovered over the open ground. Xiao Yan movement speed which was originally as fast as lightning appeared like a movie which was played in slow motion as it slowly played out within Gu He's mind. In this slow motion, every single action of Xiao Yan was completely exposed in Gu He's perception. Under the watch of various strong people who did their best to observe the fight, the two people on the open ground, which appeared like blurry intertwining figures in the eyes of the ordinary Misty Cloud sex disciples had become extremely clear. The flashing and moving intertwining figures on the battleground once again came into contact and pulled back. Following the sound of an explosion, the two figures were each forced back by more than 10 meters with their bodies skidding against the surface of the ground. The figures which were forced back came to a slow stop. Finally, Xiao Yan and Nalan Yan Ran's figures clearly appeared in front of everyone's gaze. Upon seeing the manner of the two of them, everyone were stunned. Numerous criss-crossed sword scars had already appeared on the Dou Qi armor on Xiao Yan's body. Under those deep sword scars, one could faintly see bright red fresh blood. Clearly, he did receive some of Nalan Yan Ran's counter-attacks in that almost wild close-range fight earlier. 
Xiao Yan's outer appearance was quite ugly, but Nailan Yan Ran was also similarly in a bad state. Her originally clean moon dress had appeared somewhat disorderly at this moment. One could see a clear footprint at a spot around her lower abdomen. Her messy black hair was stuck onto her clean forehead where some perspiration had appeared. The back of her teeth bit her bottom red lip while her breathing became a little hurried. From the manner of these two people, it appeared that each of them had won and lost in the intense battle earlier. After the two of them revealed themselves, the private whispers which were originally present on the open ground once again became completely quiet. Everyone was infected by the giving a tit for a tat manner of the two of them and did not dare to say anything to break it. A breeze blew over the open ground. A few withering leaves followed the wind, rotated around and swept past, between the two of them. The silence persisted for a long while. Finally, Nalan Yanran took the lead and did something. Her clever eyes carried some complicated emotion as she deeply watched the indifferent face of the young man opposite her. Her hand was slowly extended to remove the green ribbon which was restricting her long black hair. She slowly swung her head. The black hair on her head was like the moonlight as it poured down. It moved along her arm and vertically down toward her delicate waist. Under the hot sun, the girl undid her retrained hair and the black hair rolled down. It emitted a ethereal agile presence. The moving scene caused the hearts of those who were already infatuated by her to beat even faster. She wants to use that thing. Seeing Nalan Yanran's sudden action, Yun Ling and the others on the stone platform were startled. Immediately, they began mumbling to themselves. Looks like the fight should be ending soon. But to be able to force Nalan Yanran to this extent, this little fellow from the Xiao clan is really very strong. A white-robed elder sighed softly. Is she about to take out her trump card? This girl is actually forced to this extent. A surprise surfaced on Gu He's face as he softly said while standing in the tree. When Jia Xing Tian and the others around him heard these words of Gu He, they were stunned. Immediately, they threw their surprised gazes back on the battleground. As her black hair fell down, Nalan Yan ran eyes slowly shut. A moment later, she suddenly opened her eyes. The black hair on her head abruptly moved automatically despite the absence of any wind. Her long hair floated and danced. Following this, her body actually began to suspend in the air without borrowing any help from a launching force or a pair of wings. As Nalan Yan Ran's body slowly rose into the air, the energy around her body appeared like boiling water at this moment as they began rising violently. Circular pale green colored substantive ripples spread repeatedly from her body. The long sword slowly moved upward and was finally tilted in such a way that it pointed towards Xiao Yan below. At one instance, the long sword trembled gently and the sunlight from the sky suddenly began to move toward the long sword and agglomerated together. In just an instant, the glow on the long sword surged. The eye piercing glow was like a second sun in the sky. Xiao Yan, let's decide the victor. Nalan Yan Ran's white pretty face appeared somewhat transparent as it reflected the glow. She shakingly pointed towards Xiao Yan below and for the very first time, she shouted that name which she had once greatly loathed. Xiao Yan lifted his head and eyed the eye-piercing glow. Under that glow, a terrifying energy was wildly being agglomerated. Is she finally using her trump card? Since that is the case. As her pretty eyes stared at the young man whose body was straight and tall, Nalan Yan Ran inhaled a deep breath of air. Her hand tightly held the long sword which had become extremely heavy while she began moving the sword at a pace so slow that it was almost impossible for one to sense that it was moving. Following the movement of the long sword, the energy ripple which it emitted also became increasingly intense. Xiao Yan watched the sky indifferently. His right hand was gently extended and with a puff. A green-colored flame sudden appeared under the watch of everyone present. This is, although some of the ordinary Misty Cloud sex disciples were unaffected after the appearance of the green-colored flame, the elders as well as Guhi and the other strong people on the tree suddenly widened their eyes. This was especially so for Fama's group. The feeling of familiarity in their hearts grew increasingly intense. The moving long sword in the sky abruptly came to a stop. 
Nalan Yan Ran bit her lips with the back of her teeth. Both of her hands held the repeatedly dancing long sword with all her might. The terrifying energy contained in it was something that caused her to have difficulty controlling. At a certain instance, the energy on the long sword was brewed to its peak condition. Finally, Nalan Yan Ran ceased suppressing it. Her pretty face was grave looking and following a clear cry, the eye piercing sunlight already reflecting off the long sword began to inflate abruptly. In an instant, the intense light on the sword actually concealed the light from the sun in the sky. Wind's peak, dazzling sunset. A tender cry fell from the sky and the terrifying energy fluctuation was finally unleashed. A sharp sword aura shot explosively towards Xiao Yan from all directions in the sky much like a storm falling. The tough and hard ground actually cracked apart under the pressure of this sharp sword aura, forming crack lines which spread to the edge of the open ground. Sensing the terrifying sword aura in the sky, the misty cloud sect disciples hurriedly placed their hands against each other's. Waves of dochi rose from within their bodies and finally formed an enormous energy cover which enveloped over half the square. Only by relying on it did they manage to shake off the pressure created from the sword aura in the sky. It actually is Wind's peak. It is really unexpected that Yun Yun has even taught her this. However, with her ability, she cannot even display 20 or 30 percent of its strength. Jia Xin Tian muttered as he raised his head and watched the sword aura which was like a sun that was falling down. It may be time that this little fellow, Jia Xin Tian turned his gaze towards Xiao Yan on the battleground. He had yet to say everything he wanted to when his eyes suddenly shrank. He noticed that Xiao Yan had suddenly took out a pale purple Yao and Dan Wan. He threw it into his mouth and chewed a little. Immediately, he widened his mouth and a cluster of purple flame was spat out and stopped in Xiao Yan's left hand. TL, Yao and slash Dan Wan are pills which are not proper medicinal pills. They either have no medicinal effect or very little of it. This posture, Jia Xin Tian's gaze stared intently at Xiao Yan who was spitting out the purple flame. His eyes were narrowed to the point where they were almost a straight line. That day, on the Imperial Family Square, that young man who was called Yan Xiao also did this. Jia Xin Tian slowly turned his head and exchanged glances with Fa Ma. The expressions of the two of them were extremely strange and interesting. It appeared that they had finally confirmed something, that Yan Xiao is Xiao Yan. Of course, Fa Ma, Jia Xin Tian were not the only ones who had discovered something because of this action. Nalan Ji, Mu Zhan, and the others in the huge tree were similarly stunned at this very moment. Actually, the most important person was not the few of them. Instead, it was the one who was suspended in midair and had just displayed this terrifying Dou technique. Nalan Yan Ran Chapter 339, Exposed This is Nalan Yan Ran was startled as she watched Xiao Yan below from her position high in the sky. The familiar action of spitting purple flames which he had displayed earlier as well as the green-colored flame in his hand caused the young man called Yan Xiao, who had left an extremely deep impression in her mind, to slowly surface. The somewhat skinny figure of the two of them gradually began to come into contact within her mind. Immediately, they merged perfectly. Other than that face, the expression or presence of the current Xiao Yan did not differ with the young man who had beat the young alchemist from the Chu Yun Empire with his own strength at the Imperial Family Square back then. Yan Xiao, Xiao Yan. Yan Xiao, Xiao Yan. A soft mutter was emitted from her mouth. At this moment, Nalan Yan Ran had appeared to come to a sudden realization. She abruptly understood some things. The mysterious young person who had used the alchemist grand meeting to become the leader of the younger generation of the Jiama Empire, and the very person who had even caused Nalan Yan Ran to involuntarily feel an admiration for despite her haughty character, was actually this young man whom she had viewed as trash three years ago. The back of Nalan Yan Ran's teeth bit on her bottom red lip. The expression on that pretty face of hers repeatedly changed while her hands covered her mouth. That stiffened body of hers appeared to have been struck by lightning and was numb to the point where it was almost detached from her control. This sudden discovery had caused Nalan Yan Ran's calm mind to instantly become a cluster of glue. 
her originally indifferent face had become somewhat pale at this moment. This was the first person of similar age and opposite gender who had caused an admiration and unusual emotion to form in Nalan Yanran's heart in all these years. Yet he was actually the young man whom she had viewed as useless and stepped on his pride back then. This kind of gap which appeared to be of two different worlds caused Nalan Yanran to have a giddy feeling as though she were dreaming. He is Yan Xiao. The sudden discovery also caused Jia Xing Tian, Fa Ma, Nalan Ji, and the others on the tops of the trees to descend into a dull state. Perhaps, the first two had a faint feeling since the beginning of the fight, but they still felt somewhat absurd when the truth was revealed in front of their eyes. Yan Xiao, Xiao Yan. Ah, we are really muddled in our old age. Fa Ma shook his head and sighed. He eyed the skinny figure of the young man on the battleground. With a bitter smile, he said, it is really unexpected. Not only does this fellow have such an outstanding talent for refining pills, even his training talent is also this terrifying. Ah, indeed most heroes come from among the young. He is indeed a young man who has extraordinary talent. This time around, the Nalan clan and the Misty Cloud sect have really chosen the wrong party to suppress. They have really suffered a great loss. Jia Xing Tian's expression was a little strange. Having seen Xiao Yan's performance at the Alchemist Grand Meeting, it was only natural that he clearly understood just what kind of enormous potential this young person possessed. As long as one gave him sufficient time, Jia Xing Tian believed that even with the Misty Cloud Sex's strength, they might have to be afraid of him. This time around, this Nalan clan has really poured their regret all the way into their intestine, feel a great sense of regret, dot. The faces of Mu Chen, Primer Teng Shan along with the others on the huge trees were similarly filled with shocked. A moment later, their gazes all swept toward Nalan Ji who had become completely stunned. Their faces could not help but reveal some pity. Who? Nalan Ji exhaled a long breath before he immediately, violently, inhaled another one. After repeating this for a couple of times, Nalan Ji finally relaxed that comical dull expression on his face. His hands were forcefully acting calm as he patted his sleeves. However, the repeatedly shaking leaves near the peak of the tree just under his feet, exposed the panic and loss he felt within his heart. Xiao Yan is that Yan Xiao. Nalan Ji's gaze stared intently at the young man in the battleground. In his mind, the back of that figure wearing an alchemist robe gradually covered over Xiao Yan, finally merging perfectly together. The corner of Nalan Ji's mouth involuntarily quivered a little. The expression on his face currently had a brilliance which one could not describe with words. If the ability that Xiao Yan had displayed earlier had already caused Nalan Ji to feel bitterness, the other identity which had suddenly appeared truly caused Nalan Ji's heart to abruptly tighten. A young person who not only had outstanding training talent, but also possessed a terrifying talent when refining pills, that one could not stop praising, was someone that any huge faction would fight over. Whoever had him would basically have an extremely strong person in the future. His Nalan clan, however, had actually pushed this young man, with an extremely frightening talent, out the main door. During the period of time that Xiao Yan adopted the identity of Yan Xiao, Nalan Ji could be considered to have become quite familiar with him during their contact with each other. It was also due to this that he could sense the impressiveness of this young person even more clearly. Among the younger generation whom he had met over the many years, the former was definitely the leader regardless of whether it was in terms of talent or mental strength. With Xiao Yan possessing these two things, Nalan Ji did not doubt that the level which this young person could reach in the future would surpass many of the strong people at the peak of the Jiama Empire. This person who should have become a thick shield for the Nalan clan as well as a strong person with limitless potential, had already been thrown out from the Nalan clan's camp in the most hurtful manner by Nalan Yan Ran. This resulted in the current situation where they held their weapons against each other. The two completely different situations had caused waves of throbbing pain to spread from his heart. Ah! Nalan Ji let out a long breath. At this moment, he could not say anything more. With the hard feelings Xiao Yan had for Nalan Yan Ran, 
Did Nalan Ji really think that he could cause Xiao Yan and Nalan Yan Ran to reconcile just because of his words? For this three year agreement, Xiao Yan had undergone tough training for three years. Even though Nalan Ji did not have exact news of Xiao Yan during these three years, anyone could imagine that it was impossible to swiftly rise to Xiao Yan's current level, within three years, without undergoing a lonely hellish training which an ordinary person would have difficulty receiving regardless of how outstanding one's talent was. Nalan Ji let out an intense cough and his originally sleek red face had turned pale and dark without him noticing. Due to his complicated emotions, he currently appeared to have suddenly become much older. His sickly manner caused everyone around him to understand that the blow this time around was really too large for this person helming the Nalan clan. After all, who could maintain being calm when they saw a useless son-in-law who was originally abandoned by their clan suddenly change into someone who had an identity that was enough to stun everyone? This was especially so when this son-in-law would have originally become the thickest shield of the Nalan clan and help them block the blows from a wild storm. Unfortunately, this shield had already become a sharp spear which was pointed toward them. The tip of the spear even reflected a denseness that caused Nalan Ji to feel a chill within his bones. Yan Xiao This Xiao Yan is actually Yan Xiao. On the other side, Lu Ling's face was also filled with shock and he let out an involuntary cry as he stared at Xiao Yan in the battleground. Yan Xiao? That young person who had become the champion of this season's alchemist grand meeting. Hearing this, Gu He frowned slightly, turned his head and asked. Yes. Lu Ling nodded his head and said with a bitter smile, it is really unexpected that he is actually Xiao Yan. All of us have been deceived by him. As he spoke these words, Lu Ling finally heaved a heavy sigh of relief in his heart. Since Yan Xiao was Xiao Yan, it was likely that he would not have any feelings for Nalan Yan Ran. Since this was the case, the person whom he originally viewed as his strongest competitor had abruptly disappeared. This was undoubtedly a happy thing for Lu Ling. According to what I know, the Xiao Yan three years ago did not know how to refine medicine, alchemy skills. From then until now, only three years have passed. Yet he is actually able to refine a three lines green spirit pill, a tear form medicinal pill of such grade. If this is true, then isn't his talent in refining medicine a little too terrifying? Gu He said in a deep voice. Although it is a little embarrassing to say this, he is the only person among the younger generation whom I admire. His talent in refining pills is really very frightening. Lu Ling seriously said. You will also admit defeat? Looks like your failure in the grand meeting this time around was somewhat beneficial to you. At the very least, you are no longer as arrogant as you were in the past. Gu He said as glanced at Lu Ling, feeling a little surprised. With his knowledge of this disciple of his, he naturally clearly knew of the haughtiness in the latter's bones. It was really unexpected that Lu Ling would feel respect for this Xiao Yan who was clearly a little younger than him. Hearing this, Lu Ling laughed awkwardly. He did not dare continue the conversation with knowledge that his past arrogance had given Gu He a headache along with a feeling of helplessness. The green-colored flame in his hand should be a kind of heavenly flame while the purple-colored flame seems to be a type of beast flame, which he likely obtained from some sort of high-tier magical beast's body. Gee he was undoubtedly an alchemist grandmaster. With one glance, he managed to identify the background of the green lotus core flame and the purple flame. To be able to control two kinds of flames with such familiarity, the spiritual strength of this Xiao Yan isn't weak. It's no wonder that even you have lost to him. Being able to control two flames at the same time is something that even some tier 4 alchemists have difficulty doing. The ignorant just simply watched the excitement while the experts observed the essence and skills. With just a mere rough glance, Gu He was able to see some of the unique points of Xiao Yan. Lu Ling hurriedly nodded his head by Gu He's side. But why does this green-colored flame give me a sort of familiar feeling? Gu He suddenly knit his eyebrows together and said in an uncertain soft voice. Green-colored heavenly flame. Gu He slowly muttered from his mouth. His expression suddenly flickered between being bright and dark as it changed. Suddenly, 
he recalled how he had spent a great amount of effort in the Tager Desert back then and even broke into the deep regions of the desert, coming into conflict with Queen Medusa. At the very end, all of it seemed to be for a kind of green-colored heavenly flame, no? After returning from the desert, Guhi had also clearly thought out some things. In their journey to the Tager Desert this time around, they seemed to have been plotted against by someone else. The group's effort had finally ended up benefiting that mysterious person. His eyes slowly narrowed. Ji he stared intently at Xiao Yan's face. For some unknown reason, he kept feeling that this face appeared to belong to someone whom he had met. He continued frowning. At one instance, his eyes suddenly strunk. He had finally remembered. The person whom they had unintentionally rescued from the hands of the female snake person chief at the desert back then was Xiao Yan. This thought began to stir in a lightning-like manner within Gu He's mind. All the doubts he had back then appeared to have fallen into place at this moment and everything made sense now. No wonder his group's trail was so clearly grasped. No wonder there was someone who took the lead secretly sneaking into the city while they were held off by Queen Medusa and obtained the Heavenly Flame. One by one, all the mysteries began to intertwine with each other. Finally, the delicate and handsome face of the young man suddenly appeared. Who? Who he let out a deep breath. He had come to a sudden realization. Back then, the person who had become the beneficiary during the time they were entangled with Queen Medusa definitely had some relation to Xiao Yan which the latter could not shrink from, even if it were not Xiao Yan himself. What a good fellow! He actually played us all. Gu He inserted his hands into his sleeves. With narrow eyes, he watched Xiao Yan in the battleground. His heart suddenly had a feeling of not knowing whether to laugh or cry. The lineup of that group of his back then could basically dominate the entire Jiama Empire. However, they ended up falling for the plans of a young man who was not even twenty. Although I don't know how exactly you did it, but now, you should first settle this difficulty in front of you. Nalan Yan Ran's wind's peak is not something that can be easily ignored. Chapter 340, Small Scale Angry Buddha Lotus Flame A cool wind cut through the sky causing the startled and absent-minded Nalan Yanran to recover. After she did so, she waved her hand and as a conditional reflex, she appeared to be trying to grab the light sword which had been shot explosively downward. However, with her current strength, it was already a great strain to display the wind's peak. It was impossible for her to direct it like her limbs. Therefore, she could only watch with her eyes as the long word which carried an impressive force from all directions, as it violently smashed like a hot sun towards Xiao Yan standing in the open ground. Her heart was currently a total mess. She understood that in her heart she held a favorable impression, and perhaps a little spirit of competition of never wanting to admit, toward the young man called Yan Xiao. A man who possessed strength that subdued others, without having a beautiful face. It was due to having these complicated emotions that Nalan Yanran abandoned the indifference she usually had when speaking to others in her conversations with Yan Xiao. Her warm and soft tone was something she had used for the first time in many years on a male who was not her elder or relative. Although the time she wasn't in contact with Yan Xiao for very long, Xiao Yan had used this identity to unbridledly squander all of his outstanding ability that caused people to be repeatedly shocked. With the heavenly flame in his hand, he cured the searing poison which even Pil King Gu he could do nothing about. When he participated in the alchemist grand meeting, he stood out from various outstanding alchemists from various countries. Moreover, he had even been the savior at the very last moment to turn the tide of the competition, creating a miracle under a hopeless situation and helped the Empire's Alchemist Association snatch back their honor which they were about to lose. One by one, Thesis feats, which caused people's blood to boil, had caused a countless number of different young ladies to feel an affection for him. Under the aura of these kinds of prominent results, even an outstanding lady like Nalan Yanran could not resist feeling a little dazzled. What girl has never imagined within her heart that the prince charming she loves not receiving cheers from tens of thousands of people? Without a doubt, heroes love beauties, but similarly beauties also love heroes. 
The action of Yan Xiao back then, where he did his best to protect the reputation of the Jiuma Empire's Alchemist Association, may not have been his original intention, but in the eyes of the Jiuma Empire's citizens, he was worthy of the word hero. Regardless of how indifferent and haughty Nalan Yan Ran was, she was also a lady. Moreover, the moment that the young man had received tens of thousands of cheers was indeed also the moment where he became the most attractive to others. From the messy emotions in her heart, Nalan Yan Ran even had the impulse to pull back the long sword earlier. However, after she failed this action, she suddenly became quiet. She bit her bottom red lip with the back of her teeth as she stared at Xiao Yan below. The emotions within her eyes was like tens of thousands of threads being entangled together, appearing complicated and difficult to separate. Xiao Yan lifted his head and eyed the piercing glow which was becoming increasingly large in his eyes. He had also discovered the reactions of those people around him, but he was not too concerned. As something that would be exposed sooner or later, he did not think of hiding his other identity for very long. Green-colored and purple-colored flames slowly rose on his hands. The pressuring force that hit him from the sky above pressed the clothes tightly against Xiao Yan's skin. The purple-colored flame flickered repeatedly. Only the cluster of green-colored flame swayed with the wind and did not show any sign of weakening. Xiao Yan raised his hands to an equal height and immediately but slowly narrowed the distance between them. Seemingly having sensed the imminent collision, the two flames suddenly began to fluctuate intensely. The flame seedlings crazily began to leap around as their hot temperatures began to swiftly rise. What is he thinking of doing? As they eyed the strange action of Xiao Yan's, Fa Ma, Gu He, and the others on the huge trees were all stunned and their faces were at a loss. This fellow is actually thinking of merging two different kinds of flames together. Gu He was indeed worthy of being called a Tier 6 alchemist. After some thought, he understood Xiao Yan's intention. His face was instantly stunned. Is he crazy? He is actually thinking of merging two different flames? Isn't he afraid of the backlash from the flames? As a tier 6 alchemist, Gu He naturally had a clear understanding of the resistance and incompatibility of two different flames. The difficulty of trying to successfully merge two different flames together was almost unimaginable. Even Gu He himself did not dare guarantee that he had that kind of ability. Of course, he had also never attempted such a thing before. After all, not everyone in this world had Xiao Yan's ruthless vigor, where one went all out without fearing death. For an alchemist, the backlash of a flame was the most terrifying thing. Fa Ma exchanged glances with Jia Xing Tian. They may also have had some doubts present on their forehead, but with the prior miracle created at the alchemist grand meeting, they understood not to carelessly look down on this little fellow who was still quite young. There did not appear to be any shortage of miracles when it came to this extraordinary young man. Is he about to use that thing? As he eyed Xiao Yan's action, Hai Badong's brow twitched. His hands began to feel a little uneasy. Although he knew that this type of merger did not pose any threat to him, Hai Badong had some psychological trauma after that extremely large-scale explosion from the merging the other time, which had nearly caused a few Dohuang to meet their demise. Therefore, as long as he saw this fellow merging flames, he could not resist having an impulse to disappear somewhere far away. However, it was fortunate that Hai Badong did not lose himself as he did the last time. He forcefully suppressed his chi in his heart, which had become a little hurried, while his eyes stared intently at the battleground. The green and purple colored flames grew increasingly close. A ferocious energy ripple repeatedly surged out from the two flames. Occasionally, the flame seedlings would spring forward emitting a loud explosion that was like a wave of thunder, causing everyone present to become a little shocked. Xiao Yan's expression was calm as he eyed the changes of the two different flames. He was quiet for a moment before his hands instantly and abruptly clapped heavily together. Bang! Bang! The two colored flames were violently knocked against each other. Waves of muffled thundering sounds were repeatedly emitted from Xiao Yan's palm. However, Xiao Yan totally ignored them. He rubbed his hands slightly together and a spiritual strength was spread out of his body in a lightning-like manner. 
Immediately, it wrapped around the two clusters of flame and following his past experience, he began to control it with great familiarity and ease. As the rubbing between Xiao Yan's hands grew increasingly fast, a faint glow suddenly began to spread from his palms, just like that of muffled thunder. A moment later, the muffled thunder came to a sudden stop. Xiao Yan gently exhaled. His palms, which were tightly held together, gradually parted. A green-purple double-colored glow from his palm suddenly pervaded all over. The brilliant glow gradually weakened. As everyone's eyes hurriedly swept over, their faces were immediately stunned as they watched the green-purple flame lotus which was slowly rotating, suspended above Xiao Yan's palm. This is, Gu He was shocked as he watched the two-colored flame on Xiao Yan's hand. His mouth parted as he instantly swept his spiritual strength, which was spread all over the open ground, over that flame lotus. His eyes instantly and abruptly shrunk. What a huge violent energy! The heavenly flame and another flame merged together, resulting in a huge explosive force to form due to their incompatibility. This fellow is actually able to perform this step. As a tier 6 alchemist, who he clearly understood that merging two flames together could create an extremely huge amount of explosive energy. However, trying to merge two flames together and getting it to explode upon instruction required the person controlling it to maintain the two flames at an equilibrium. It was difficult to control such an equilibrium. Should any of the two flames break this equilibrium, these two flames would first explode before they could be shot out. If this happened, not only would Xiao Yan fail to hurt his opponent, but he would also end up causing himself to be seriously injured, losing more than he gained. Gu He did not know if he could perfectly merge the two kinds of flames with his own ability. This was because he had never tried doing so. However, with his many years of experience, he could tell that the difficulty of this kind of merger should not be inferior to that of refining a tier 4 or even a tier 5 medicinal pill. Nevertheless, the young man below appeared to have easily and smoothly completed this extremely dangerous merging. How could this not cause Guhi to feel shock? There is no grievances in losing against him. Guhi sighed, turned his head around and spoke to Lu Ling. Lu Ling's expression was serious as he nodded his head. Although his spiritual perception could not possibly be as meticulous as Gu He's, he could still vaguely sense just what kind of enormous energy that the two-colored flame lotus, which was merely around the size of his palm, possessed. It is really difficult to say just who will win or lose this match. Gu He mumbled as he shook his head. What is that thing that he has created? Yun Ling, who was on the stone platform, frowned and asked uncertainly upon seeing the green-purple flame lotus suspended above Xiao Yan's hand. No idea. The few elders beside him looked at each other and shook their heads in ignorance. Yun Leng knit his brows tightly together. He slowly fondled his beard with his hand. For some unknown reason, an uneasiness had rose within his heart. All the gazes present on the open ground were gathered on Xiao Yan's palm. Although they were uncertain what kind of power that green-purple flame lotus had, the misty cloud sex disciples appeared to have sensed something. A couple of the disciples who were nearer to the battleground of the two of them could not stand the heat and had increased the thickness of the defensive cover on the surface of their body. What a strong energy! This fellow is really more and more difficult to see through. His trump cards appear to come out one after another endlessly. Fa Ma lifted his gaze from the flame lotus and exchanged glances with Jia Xing Tian. He then shook his head as he sighed with a little worry in his heart. Since they had come to know this fellow, the two of them had felt the sense of shock an unknown number of times. Xiao Yan's hand slowly moved up and down. That suspended green-colored flame lotus also followed his hand as it repeatedly moved in the same direction. Xiao Yan raised his head. The pressure brought about by that sharp and hot sword nearly caused Xiao Yan's body to incline slightly. Xiao Yan parted his feet slightly as that huge amount of energy pouring down discharged onto the ground. He inhaled a deep breath and was silent for a moment. His finger abruptly flicked out the lotus as he softly muttered, Go, angry Buddha lotus flame. As his voice fell, the green-purple flame lotus abruptly left his hand, 
turned into a flowing light which flashed toward the hot sunlight sword. Under the watch of countless of tensed gazes on the open ground, the two rays of light swiftly flashed in midair. Finally, they violently collided around ten meters from the ground much like two meteorites. Bang! The sound of a huge explosion reverberated throughout the entire misty cloud mountain at this very moment.